Highland cows have asserted their dominance now that those warble sheep just get a wee pile at the end. Cows eat the rest. Sheep don't need too much. Just fed the Highlanders and his warbles and I'm just going around the car park at the moment picking up some rubbish that's lying about. One, because it makes the place look nicer and two, because it can get into pens with the sheep or the cattle and they can, they can choke on it if they try to eat it. Frosty one this morning. Just giving the cows a wee bit of food. Calves are looking well, happy to be outside. I'm just out filling in a wee hole there. We fixed this trough a few days ago. There was a valve in there and needed replaced. And in doing so, we, we dug down that hole just to see what junctions were there and forgot to fill it in. So the cows could have stepped on it and burst it. But remembered it was there, filled it in. We had to dig a, a trench to take all the water away because the trough was leaking. So this whole area is it's wet, but it's, it's drying now. Just in to pick up a load of wood chip from a local chipping company. That'll be go into our biomass boiler and get burnt to produce heat for the shop and the house. On another wee bridge at the moment, not the quarry one, a different one. You used to just jump out, run into the office, run off your line, get your tear and go and get loaded and come back and you can do it all yourself. But since COVID, you're not allowed out your cab. So i have just to sit here and wait. Someone will come and ask for my details take my registration, take my weight, I'll go get loaded up, come back, same again will happen. Easier for me, I just have a seat. And that's how, this is how they dry the wood chip. Um, they create a layer of it and that goes all the way back, probably about a metre deep. And the floor has hot air coming through it and that dries out the wood chip because to put it through the wood chip boiler, it needs to be about 20, 22, low 20s percentage of moisture. So they have to dry it, and then it gets loaded up and we'll take it back. Just getting loaded up now, we'll probably get about three ton in this trailer. Usually here with a bigger one, we get about five, but the big one's full of wheat. So I've just picked up a load of wood chip, taking it home at the moment. 3.08 ton in the trailer, so it's quite close to that three ton. Usually have a bigger trailer, and get about five ton. This should do about, probably do about two weeks at the moment. We're not using as much because of COVID. The restaurant part of the shop's not open, so we're not needing to heat that. So we're using less at the moment. Normally, through the winter, five tons would do two weeks. And in the winter, obviously, in the summer, obviously a bit less because of higher temperatures. You don't need as much heating. This stuff is 21% moisture content, so it should burn just perfect in the boiler. We had an issue a few loads ago where we got a load that was 27% moisture content. Um, I think they had an issue with their uh, drying system and that just threw our whole boiler off. Uh, it wasn't burning at a high enough temperature and it just gave us a lot of issues. So we've sorted that all out and we'll just make sure we're always at low 20s moisture content. That's one of our fields of rape on the left here and this there's a big patch on the roadside which we did some drainage in so it got sown much later than the rest of the field. The difference in those two parts of the crop really show the window of opportunity to get your crop sown. The first crop, the good crop, it was sown in a perfect window, the weather was good and because of that, we're getting a decent crop, thick crop. All, most of it is germinated well, and it'll, if conditions stay decent, it will yield a, a high, high quality crop and a high volume of crop. Whereas the other patch where it was delayed a few weeks, it meant the weather conditions weren't as good. It was getting shorter days of sunlight. So it wasn't be able, able to establish itself fully like the rest of the crop before the winter, before it shut down for the winter. And now we're in spring and it's still weeks and weeks behind. It will catch up a bit and it will yield an okay crop, but not like the rest of the field will. Just going to fill up the hopper for the wood chip boiler. 
keep it going. There's a big hopper behind here, keeps all the wood chip in it, keeps it away from the weather. See the top of the roof where uh, where it's been hit by the top of the forklift a few times. Definitely was never me who did that. Situated. You wind up with vans parking in front and can't get in. I should have shown before I filled it up, but in the middle of there at the bottom, there's two arms that spin round and round, and an auger runs from the middle all the way to the, the back corner. That's where the, the boiler is behind that wall, so it draws out the wood chip from the middle into the boiler, goes up into the boiler, burns at a really high temperature, I don't know, 6 to 800 degrees or something, heats up the water in the boiler, and then it just triggers itself when the boiler starts to come down, triggers itself to start and stop. This is the boiler room here. That's the wall where the wood chips are. And how it works is, this is the auger, so they're drawn through there, uphill, up this, elevator draws it into the hopper then there there's a big burner furnace burner burns it about 800 degrees heating up the water in this big boiler and these are just all the pipe works takes it to all the different parts of the shop and we also have the house heated across the road it's a good piece of kit probably should have put in bigger capacity when we had or if more around about the farm or along the road at different farms but it was a big expense at the time and we weren't 100% set on it. That's the wood chip boiler dealt with for another couple of weeks. Should keep going fine, the roller door is shut. We've never had an issue with this roller door in terms of lorries but it was broken in the middle there for a while so I took it down, stripped it apart, rivets in it, replaced all the rivets got it fixed again and then a week later a lorry reversed into that corner we've had it up seven years and no one's ever touched it and a week after i fix it it gets reversed into question in last video what is this veg and it is in fact the turnips they're for feeding sheep up here we rent out some grassland uh, which has sheep on it now and this is for feeding the sheep i've been called into action for the shop um, they need to borrow some of my tools. Here's my um, secret den where I keep all my tools locked away from everyone else. So I'll grab a few bits, take it up there, and that's everything for the day. Question of the day today. What is this? Four and a half inches across. It's got a hole in the middle and a bit of a kind of indent in the middle. What's it used for? What is it? When it's sideways, sleet and snow, it's not so nice, but when the sun shines like it is just now, 
it's not bad. 